So far in my investing journey, September of 2022 was the most amount of money that I've lost. And unlike other YouTubers, I believe in transparency and showing the good times and the bad times. So in today's portfolio update, we'll be going over all my buys, sells, dividends received, how much money I lost, and much more. Even during these times of uncertainty and fear, my companies are still paying out and increasing their dividend payments. If you're new to the channel, my name's Ryan. I'm 16 years old. I do dividend growth investing for the long term. It would mean a lot if you could subscribe, turn on post notifications, smash the like button while you're at it, Join the Discord link in the description, and of course, roll the intro. Hello, I like money. Guys, I don't like to focus on capital appreciation over the long term. I just kind of naturally expect it for it to happen, of course, over the long term. But this was a very rough month, if I'm being completely honest. This month, I'm down about like a couple thousand dollars. Um, over the last couple months, I'm down $3,000. So obviously my investing gut right now is telling me to sell, sell, sell. But thankfully I've been able to hold that gut um, for now at least. And you know, I've been trying to buy the debt to the best of my ability. Right now my income is not at the highs because my you know side hustle, you know, mowing lawns is obviously out of business right now. So this month we didn't see a whole ton of growth because I did sell some of my higher yielding positions to buy any lower yielding positions that I thought were at a better value. My estimated annual income only went up by about $2 this month. This month my portfolio yield went up by about 0.2%. To be honest, that's not a very good thing because I didn't buy any more higher yielding positions this month. And my estimated monthly income only went up by about 10 cents. So obviously this month wasn't a huge month for growth. But as you guys will see in my buys, that's explained. This Monday, I will be buying some more stocks. I'm going to have a big you know, buying spree day. So make sure to join the Discord link in the description to see those buys. So you don't have to wait a month for them. Now let's go over my buys and sells and my reasoning for them. To start off, I bought two shares of realty income at $68.06. Since that buy realty income has fell on another 15%, I think O is an amazing REIT and I'm definitely going to be looking to buy some when I have capital to spend. Right now it's trading at around a 5% dividend yield so it's definitely becoming attractive to me and other investors. Then I bought two shares of SEHD at around $71.50. I sold half of my position in Southern Company at a 25% gain. Right now as I'm you know kind of scarce for capital. I just saw Southern Company, it's trading at a high PE ratio, pretty overvalued in my opinion for a utilities company, and I'll definitely look to buy back in, but that did kind of take a hit to my annual dividend income unfortunately. But in my opinion, I just saw a better value opportunity over the long term. I used that money from Southern Company to buy one share of Apple at $149.86, and two more shares of SCHD at $67.73. Apple, I think, is starting to trade at fair value. Again, in SCHD, I just saw a good opportunity to invest broadly over this big dip that we're seeing. Those are all my buys and sells for September. Obviously, less than a usual month because of my, you know, limited capital to invest with this month. Now, to brighten the mood a bit, we're going to be going over all my dividends, and this month was the highest amount of dividend income. I think it's awesome right now with this huge dip that, you know, I'm able to reinvest these, you know, dividends at such great prices, in my opinion. To start off, we got $3.93 from Walgreens Boots Alliance, $0.38 cents from Stag, $4.36 from Target, which has had amazing dividend growth recently, $10.66 from 3M, which is one of my largest dividend payments I've had yet. That's really, I think that's a really good price to invest at, as I am getting about a tenth of a share of 3M right now at these current prices. $1.73 from Nextera Energy. $1.82 from Realty Income, $4.24 from McDonald's, $1.05 from VF Corp. VF Corp is one of the stocks I've just held forever. And it's just been completely losing money on me. I'm just going to hold it and see what happens. Um, I only have two shares, so it's nothing to, you know, nothing to write home about. $0.68 cents from Waste Management. My first ever payment from SCHD, which was pretty cool, which was $7.64. Uh, I got $1.11 from Corning, $2.37 from Pepsi, $2.50 from Microsoft, $4.62 from J&J, $4.25 from Southern Company, $1.84 from Intel, which I've just been getting killed on. It's not even funny. 
a dollar thirteen from Visa, which I am going to look to buy this month, a dollar fifty eight from UPS, and lastly a dollar fifty nine from Kroger. Again, guys, I think it's awesome to see that I'm reinvesting all these high amounts of dividends in such low valuations and you know a time of fear. Guys, obviously it sucks that I'm losing money right now, but you got to keep in mind that I am investing for dividend income. So yeah, right now this Monday, I'm going to have probably a huge buying spree. I'm going to have some income going to my, you know, going to my brokerage. So I will be buying some stocks. Again, join the Discord if you are interested. Don't, you don't want to wait a month to see the buys. Just join now. I post all my dividends there. Right now, it sucks. A lot of positions of mine are going into the red. I have very few green positions left, and I've been investing for, you know, two, you know, three years almost now. So it sucks to see, but again, my dividend income is going up over time, which is aligning with my goals. If you're still here at the end of the video, thank you so much. It means a lot to me. I'm sorry I didn't upload last week. I had a nasty ear infection. I just was not in the mood to make a video, to be completely honest with you guys. Thank you so much. Smash the like button. Subscribe. And of course, do dividend stocks, not drugs. Have a good one.